all the food and dietary supplements that we mentioned on this program are intended to contribute to the daily diet and overall health. They're not intended for the use in the prevention, treatment, mitigation, or cure of a disease or health-related condition. Individuals who have or suspect that they have an illness or who wish to commence a diet or exercise program should be consulting with an appropriately licensed healthcare practitioner for their medical health history evaluation, uh, diagnosis, treatment, and health recommendations. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Campaign for Nutrition, Health, and Wellness Hour. Uh, this is pharmacist Keith Abel, and as we, as every week, it's Dr. Wallach and I on this call. Uh, we're here to help get the information out there in the uh, current economic and political times when sometimes the best information is being muted by people. Uh, the best information is being silenced. And we're here to be a voice in that uh, uh, darkness of information out there. We want to make sure we get the information out on health and wellness and what can be done in order to improve your health and not need the dangerous pharmaceutical drugs. Welcome to the Health and Wellness Hour with Dr. Joel Wallach and pharmacist Keith Abel. They believe when it comes to nutrition and supplementation, the modern medical system has failed you, that our body is divinely designed to repair itself given the correct foundation of nutrients. With a combined 85 years experience in health, nutrition, and supplementation, they bring a unique perspective on how to manage disease and improve one's health. Over the next hour, Dr. Wallach and pharmacist Keith will discuss health and wellness topics seen in the news. They'll discuss trends in nutrition and supplementation and how you can take control of your own health and your future. Let's get on with the show. Um, in just a moment, we'll get started with Dr. Wallach on this, on this, but I wanted to talk for just a minute about integrity. Integrity, that's the word of the day. A lot of folks in this business don't follow uh, with integrity. Uh, you know, people try to steal people's uh, uh, clients or, or referrals uh, when they come to programs like this. And I just want to let you know that when you send someone to this program, it is a safe place. If the folks that you send to this program reach out to me through the uh, health evaluation, I'm going to make sure I get in touch with the persons they belong to and make sure that information is, is uh, uh, you know, provided appropriately. I'm not going to be stealing people from you when you send people to this. Likewise, I ask you all to do something for me. Don't steal this program. You know, this program is copyright by my, myself. This is work that I do myself. It takes my time, my energy, uh, takes, uh, you know, me putting up and purchasing all this equipment that I use to make this program. So I ask that you, if you you're feel free to share it. If you're going to share it, share it exactly the way it's put up there. Don't take the information that I'm putting up there, record it somehow, put all your contact information in there, and then send it up on your own websites. This is copyright information, and I will go after people that violate my copyrights. So got that out of the way, and I just want to welcome everybody to the program today. If you have any questions, start putting them in on the uh, Facebook side on your chat. Uh, if you've got questions today uh, and you're on the Zoom side, just put a, a note in chat that you have a question. In just a few minutes, we'll get to your questions. Uh, but today I want to talk to Dr. Wally. How are you, Dr. Wally? Very fine, sir. Thank you. How are you this morning? I, I'm doing fantastic. You shared some information this morning on the uh, Tom Chenault show, and I wanted to uh, let you, uh, you know, start off with that. Well, I just want to put up a couple of things that you and I have done. Um, first, before we get into that uh, story, um, the red warning light is a um, CD with several um, red warning lights. I think there's like eight or nine different red warning lights that your body gives you, tells you there's a problem um, that's available. And then uh, Dr. Wally's laws of photosynthetic um, disruption and global warming. Uh, that's a CD that's actually the soundtrack of a, of a Zoom that you and I were doing and so forth. And so those are available through you. Okay, uh, right, correct? Actually, they're, they're all available through drjwallach.com. Okay, drjwallach.com. So through you and through me. And so please avail yourself. There's a lot more than what we have time for right now. Hello, Doc. Sorry about that. I had myself muted since I'm still coughing. 
<laughs> All right. Okay. I want to go back to Minnesota. Okay. You said they had their population is 5.6 million. They've had 12,000 mm -hmm. deaths. Mm -hmm. Kentucky, Kentucky's population is 4.5 million. So if we take Minnesota's deaths and look at their population, that's 12 million out of five, five, 12,000 out of 5.6 million. If Kentucky fell on that same percentage, that means we should only have nine point or 9,600. 9,600 deaths mm -hmm. instead of 12,000. But instead, Kentucky, with a million population less, has more deaths at 13.6. And I, I dig, was digging a little bit further into that. I looked up the heart was rate. It, was it the percent? Was that the percent? It was deaths. Kentucky, out of 4.5 million, had 900, had 9,600 died. Out okay. of 4.5 million people. Minnesota, 5.6. I'm sorry, that was wrong. Kentucky, out of 4.5 million people, has had 13,600 deaths. Minnesota has 5.6 million people, and they've had 12,000 deaths. So they've had less deaths per, per, per capita. Mm -hmm. so there I, you go. I wanted to look at one more thing to compare the two states. Heart disease deaths related deaths in Kentucky, 38% of our deaths come from heart disease mm. pre-COVID. Minnesota, 19%. Mm -hmm. That shows you a big reason why Kentucky has higher COVID deaths because we have higher comorbidities. You know, we, Absolutely. 38% of 4.5 million is a lot more than 19% of 5 million. Well, well, yeah. And you have to appreciate that nutritional minerals do not occur in a uniform blanket around the crust of the earth. They occur in veins like gold and silver. So guess what? Now, that, there's, two, there's another factor there, too. Not just the minerals in our diets. Because nowadays, so many of us all get our food from the grocery store from the same sources. But also... You have to look at the fact that in Kentucky, we fry everything. I mean, we <laughs> fry Twinkies. We, we would fry water if we could figure out a way to fry water. Minnesota, their primary way of eating is roasting. There you go. They roast their food. So it has to be a combination of mineral deficiencies that are put, pushing these numbers up there and the bad foods and good foods. Yeah. So, and you hear, you know, you hear pharmacists, Keith and I talk about this all the time. You got to get rid of the bad foods and take the 90 cents of nutrients. And that includes vitamin D3. And all this great research has come out here in the last six months on vitamin D3. And, and well, why is that so important for the immune system? Because your bone marrow, which makes your white blood cells, which makes your antibodies and red blood cells and platelets requires vitamin D3 to function mm -hmm. and to maintain itself. And so without vitamin D3, um, you're not going to, even if you're supplementing, you're not going to be, um, uh, you know, even if you're supplementing with calcium, you're not going to be able to absorb it as efficiently unless you're supplementing with vitamin D3. So that's why we came out with the supplement vitamin D3. All righty. I'm going to jump over to some questions. I'm sure I'll come up with some more stuff I want to say as we go along. Okay. Here. But uh, first question <laughs> is from Connie. She's five foot four. She weighs 220 pounds. She's been taking the 90 for years. Uh, didn't specify what the 90 is, but we'll get into that. In July of 2021, she fractured her L1. And she's still in a lot of pain and wants uh, guidance on how to heal and how to lose weight. Okay, well, five foot four for a woman, I'd like to see her weigh... 110 to 120 somewhere in there so she needs to lose almost 100 pounds and so um I, did she is she from kentucky no i don't think so okay oh so you didn't say okay um so anyway yeah you know, she needs to lose 100 pounds so i don't want her to have one meal a day uh it cannot be added to the meal but it has to be a meal replacer called um let's see here our our bars okay um and these bars, uh, I have some here somewhere. I'll find them. Okay. Um, they are chocolate. There's 10 in a box. Okay. And 
Let's see here. Do you have any of those bars there? Keto bars, do you have them? There, there you go, thank you. Okay, and so at any rate, um, the keto bars, it's a meal replacer, it's not to add to a meal. And uh, say one to two, depending on your body weight, one to two rebound drinks, okay? It doesn't have to be the same meal every day. You need to get three boxes per month because there's only 10 bars in a box. If you're very, very small, uh, you could just get um, uh, two boxes and take a half of a, a bar for that one meal, but I, I think you'd be happier with a full bar, okay? And then um, she needs to uh, take um, two healthy branded heart packs per month. And if some of those items are back ordered and so they don't have full healthy branded heart packs, just take all the ingredients. That's what I do. I just get, I, and I have to purchase them. The company doesn't give them to me, so I have to buy everything myself also. So I buy all the raw materials in the healthy brain and heart packs. And so I take uh, the equivalent of a healthy brain and heart pack uh, twice a day. I weigh 142. And I also want her to, uh, to take um, two bottles a month of the MSM. Uh, it'll give her three of the MSM tablets at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that's going to support and promote maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, discs between the vertebrae, bone makes your bone itself. Uh, that's going to help her out there. She needs vitamin D3. I'd have her take three of those three times a day. There's three bottles a month of the vitamin D3. I also want her to have the collagen peptides, one canister a month, so she can put a, a scoop of the uh, collagen peptides in her drink in the morning and in her drink in the, in the evening, okay? She also needs the... Uh, I also have her take, let's see here, um, mm, mm, the uh, glucogel. I'd have her take the glucogel, make sure she's taking five of those twice a day. And then I want her to take the, the um, let's see here. I want her to take the, um, oh, let's go, let's go with the, um, uh, let's see here. I'm debating. Uh, let's let's go with the Fucoid Z. It's anti-inflammatory. It's made from seaweed. Uh, got uh, about like nine different um, types of seaweed and stuff in it. I'd take three of those twice a day. It'd be two bottles a month. If you prefer the liquid, you could take the Z radical. It'd be two quarts a month. Or you could take an ounce twice a day. Anti-inflammatory gives her minerals, and she's going to lose about a half a pound to two pounds a day. If she has any other issues like high blood pressure and diabetes, uh, um, she'll even get benefit there. But we do need to hear from her so we can get some more information because I'm sure uh, 220 pounds, five foot four. I want to know, is she 70 years old? Is she 32 years old? That sort of stuff. She's 64. 64. Well, there you go. Yeah. And so, yeah, she really needs this stuff badly. And of course, she needs to stay away from all the bad foods, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, no brown rice, no, no sugar, no carbonated drinks, even the diet one's got to go, because she needs to be able to absorb these nutrients to maintain herself and to allow her body to rest so she mm -hmm. can lose that weight. She'll lose a half a pound or two pounds a day, but uh, she does have to, people say, well, how long does she have to stay on that diet? Well, forever. Nobody should ever be eating all those bad foods. And everybody should always be taking these 90 essential nutrients for at least one year before they're conceived. Mm -hmm. People need to be taking these. I'm talking about the embryo needs to be getting, you know, when they're just an egg sitting in their mother's ovary, needs to be getting these nutrients for at least a year before they're, they're fertilized by the sperm. Um, then we can eliminate all birth defects. I'll repeat that. We can eliminate all birth defects. There are no birth defects that are genetic. So this will solve a lot of problems. Absolutely. And folks, I just posted on both the Facebook and on the uh, Zoom in the notes, a link to the video that we did a few weeks back called the good food versus bad food. And the link for that is foodvideo.campaignfornutrition.com. That's foodvideo.campaignfornutrition.com. And that goes all into the different foods and so forth. Okay. And Thank you, Pharmacist Keith. Yeah, she also says she has high blood, has, has high blood pressure. Um, well, then she, she needs the ultimate, she, she, okay, oh. she needs the ultimate, then she needs the ultimate daily classic tablets. Right. Okay, get uh, two bottles a month. She can take three twice a day. 
don't cold turkey off of her blood pressure medication, but as her blood pressure drops, she can slowly reduce her medication based on the numbers. And usually within two to six weeks, she'll be an ex would pressure patient, okay? It, it goes away very easily. It's not genetic, it's not autoimmune, it's almost always 99.9% .9 due to a nutritional deficiency. Okay, and if you can't afford two of the healthy uh, brain and heart packs, then at least get one, buy an extra bottle of selenium, and buy uh, uh, the Prohoba Omegas for your extra omegas that you're missing there. Uh, th those two components are very critical mm -hmm. for the blood pressure issue and for your weight loss issue. And also preventing blood clots. Right. So just wanted to add that because I know sometimes it gets expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when Dr. Wallach makes a recommendation, his recommendation is the best, you know, for you to get, get uh, well faster. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm yeah. not going to tell you not to do what he says, do what he says, if you can all afford it, but if you can't afford it, don't do nothing. Okay. Uh, talk with your longevity representative about, you know, what you can do, you know, in more affordable ways if possible. And we got to get you started on something, even if you can't afford anything, but a bottle of minerals, that's a start. Okay. Elizabeth says, what products would you recommend for wound healing from reconstructive surgery of the breast? Uh, they did, they took tissues from the abdomen area and uh, used it for the reconstruction. So she wants to know what to do for, to promote wound healing of the skin and to reduce scarring. You don't have a weight or anything like that, huh? No, Elizabeth, you can pop that in there. Be okay. Appreciative, but... okay, if not, we'll just go with by 100 pounds of body weight. Okay, none of the bad foods, of course. None of the bad foods, but per hundred pounds of body weight, she's one healthy brain and heart pack. And if, you know, again, they're not available, she can get the uh, uh, one per hundred pounds of body weight of the um, healthy start pack, okay, which is the basic 90 essential nutrients, and then add another bottle of our selenium to it. It has the five cofactors in it, um, not, not selenium from Walgreens. Ours has five cofactors. They're very, very important here for wound healing. Also, she needs um, one bottle per month of the, um, per hundred pounds of body weight of the MSM. So you can take three twice a day per hundred pounds of body weight. And that will um, support maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, which includes skin, mm -hmm. um, um, arteries, veins, all that kind of stuff, uh, which have a, a lot of the thickness uh, of the tissue is due to connective tissue. People forget that. And so the MSM works for arteries, veins, lungs, cartilage is in the trachea and bronchi and so forth. 85% of the weight of the respiratory system is cartilage. People forget that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have to think in those terms. So yeah, but uh, this will help her a lot. And collagen peptides, definitely. Yeah, the collagen peptides, a scoop of that uh, to her drink in the morning, a scoop of that in her drink in the afternoon. Now, don't again, forget vitamin D3. Don't forget vitamin D3 also. Right. And again, so if you can't get the brain heart pack, you go with the healthy start pack, add a bottle of selenium and add a bottle of, of the Prohoba Omegas. Okay. Because the Prohoba Omegas, uh, Omega-3 shuts off inflammation. Mm -hmm. Omega-6, which you find in all the cooking oils, turn on inflammation process. So you want to stay away from the bad foods and you want to get extra of the omega-3s. Okay. Um, something I just thought of too, when you were mentioning to take your uh, vitamin D. Um, also, I just wanted to mention again, I know I mentioned it a few weeks ago, that if you're taking extra zinc right now because of COVID, uh, because uh, bronchitis is going around and all these other things are going around right now, if you're taking extra zinc, which you need to be, because zinc is uh, helpful to the immune system, but you also have to take the selenium product with it. There's been cases just since COVID because people are taking zinc long-term, uh, uh, cataracts are starting to skyrocket right now. And what happens when you take zinc is it depletes your body of two very important minerals, selenium and copper. So if you take the uh, selenium that Dr. Wallach has formulated, you're going to get the copper in there with it. So anytime you're taking zinc, extra zinc for more than two weeks, you need to be on the extra selenium and copper. 
There you go. All right. Let's see. All right. Anybody over on the Zoom side? I'm starting to see some stuff come in. Margaret, can you unmute yourself? You've got a question here. Hi. Hello, Margaret. Hi, guys. Thank you both. We appreciate you both so much. Thank you. Um, <laughs> we, we have a 15 year old male golden doodle. He's half standard poodle and half golden retriever. Um, he uh, is um, a thousand percent gluten free. He eats freeze dried salmon dog food that's um, complete and balanced. And he drinks reverse osmosis water. And I balance that water with two tablespoons of your plant derived minerals. Um, per, per quart. Um, yeah. And he uh, takes Arthrodex and an MSM at each meal. And sometimes I give him a vitamin D. Sometimes I um, add in uh, additional things like collagen peptides, osteo FX. Um, but his, he's having yeah. a hip problem. Um, he cannot stand up any longer. And he's wearing a special harness that we use to help lift him. And um, he's getting frustrated and he's not as happy as he was. And, you know, we want to restore him if it's possible. And, but he walks fine. Once he's on his feet, he walks fast. He walks well. Um, but it's obvious when he goes yeah. to sit down. Okay. So again, I apologize. How much does he weigh? Oh, sure. 70 pounds, 15 okay. years old. And what, what's the dog that uh, species normally weigh? Um. He's a mixture of standard poodle and golden retriever. So, so I think the two big breeds then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, 70 pounds is not too outrageous for, uh, you know, a mixed breed like that. And, but um, Arthrodex is one scoop per 20 pounds of body weight. So he needs scoop, four scoops of Arthrodex in his food every day. Mm -hmm. He's four scoops of the Arthrodex. He also, I would give him three of the vitamin D3 capsules, open them up and dump it, you know, in the food. And, um, she didn't and mention omega-3, so I'll definitely get the uh, probable uh, omegas. I normally give him EFA plus, and I um, am right now giving him the uh, the plant one because I'm out at the other. I'm waiting for the delivery. I, I'm yeah. going to make a suggestion to switch to the omega-3 only for now because, okay. again, omega-3 turns off the inflammation. I mean, Dr. Mike might disagree. He's a veterinarian. I'll take his advice. But Okay, then I would also throw in the MSM. Wouldn't hurt um, to get one bottle a month for him so he can take um, uh, three or four of the MSM, just throw them in the food. And if he doesn't chew them up, just grind them up and put them in there. Um, and they're going to help rebuild cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, discs between a vertebrae, bone breaks, bone itself. And uh, it doesn't take long. When you hit the right button, everything repairs very quickly. Uh, don't forget the vitamin D3. Uh, even dogs require <laughs> vitamin D3. And in the wild, uh, um, wolves and coyotes eat vitamin D3 by eating the livers mm -hmm. of the rabbits and stuff that they catch is where people and animals store their vitamin D3 is in the liver. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, keep us informed because a lot of people have pets and they want to know how your doggy responded, okay? Thank you so much, Dr. Wallach, okay. and thank okay, you so much, Margaret. Pharmacist Key. Thank, thank you. you. God bless. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Yeah, the puppy right. dogs are part of the family, that's for sure. They sure are. Um, we had one for quite a while, and, you know, she's long gone, but was definitely part of the family. Okay, if someone wanted to know about skin mites. Okay, are these in people? Didn't or, say. Okay, well, skin mites in people, we used to call it chiggers. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so... Um, you have to find out what the source is. I mean, if you got some bushes outside the house and you're constantly working out in the yard, they're going to jump all over you. They want some warm body to jump onto. And of course, we you have things that you would use for mosquitoes will deal with the, with the uh, skin mites, aka chiggers. Uh, and so um, it's one of those things where you take the 90 essential nutrients. So don't forget to throw in the MSM which helps with the skin, uh, maintenance and repair. Um, and uh, don't forget about the vitamin D3. And I would also use the skin uh, sanitizer, the skin sanitizer 
uh, it has alcohol in it and it will if, this, if the chiggers are tunneling in your skin, you're going to kill them with the hand sanitizer. Uh, also, you can take the colloidal silver orally, uh, mm -hmm. uh, two droppers full under the tongue, 30 minutes for each meal, 30 minutes for bedtime. It'll, for, if you do that, um, it's going to take you two of those four ounce bottles a day to uh, make that happen. Uh, we, don't, we don't have any insecticides, but what we do have in our ancient legacy division, we have all of these aromatherapy oils, including eucalyptus, which kills bugs. And so it wouldn't hurt to get some of the eucalyptus oil from our ancient legacy division. And uh, what I would do is put a, you know, half a dozen drops in your hand and uh, rub your two hands together and then rub them. You, know, you get the uh, chiggers around your ankles and up your legs or on your back or wherever they are. Uh, just rub those areas with the eucalyptus oil from our ancient legacy division. And that will help also. Uh, there you go. Put a little bit of tea tree oil and, and some carrier oil and uh, rub that on the bites. Works really well for mosquito bites as well. And it, it, it mm -hmm. solves the uh, itching problem. I have a question. Go right ahead. Who are you? The, uh, this is Lady Knight. Good morning. Go um, what do you give uh, the children? My, my grandsons are beginning to run track and, and uh, do sports a lot. And they're ages seven and nine. And I wanted to get them on a, a good, you know, um, product for the for the for the youth. Yeah, well, per hundred pounds of body weight, they need uh, the um, healthy uh, brain and heart pack. If you can get it complete, otherwise, get the healthy start pack or the healthy bone and joint pack. Okay, be sure to get extra selenium for them. Uh, just read the label for dosage, and then um, let's see here. They, they can take the rebound. Um, which has 100 nutrients in it, 75 minerals and, and um, 25 vitamins and amino acids. And uh, we actually made this um, uh, healthy bone and joint pack for uh, young athletes. I, I played sports in junior high and high school and college and so forth. And um, let's see here, we have two CDs. One is called, um, let's see here, um, 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 the... Um, Dead athletes don't lie, and exercise without supplementation is suicide. Every year in America, 500 to 1,000 young athletes under the age of 25 drop dead suddenly from hypertrophic cardiomyopathy heart disease. And uh, that's a simple nutritional deficiency, but doctors just said, oh, it's exercise. They got to train better, you know, don't stress themselves. The doctors missed it by 1,000 miles. It's due to a deficiency of a particular nutrient. Uh, and that's why we came up with the CD. Uh, um, dead, dead athletes don't lie and also exercise without supplementation and suicide. We still sell lots of those. Go to www.drjwallach.com, www.drjwallach.com. And um, that's where I'd start. And of course, it doesn't hurt to take the extra collagen peptides for the cartilage and ligaments and tendons, a scoop with their breakfast drink and a scoop with their evening drink. Don't forget a rebound or a sports drink. Uh, don't forget the vitamin D3, even if you live in a sunny place, even if you live in Florida, um, most people sit in the shade when they're out there on a sunny day with friends, they'll sit in the shade. They're not gonna strip down naked and lay out in the sun for four hours. And so they still need to take the vitamin D3 and uh, the collagen peptides. And I would also throw in the MSM uh, for the kids. We used to, uh, I don't know how old you are, but uh, in the old days, we used to make, um, what we, we would call bone broth. We would boil the chicken bones, the fish bones, the beef bones, the lamb bones uh, in vinegar overnight on top of the wood stove. And then we'd fight over in the morning, see who's going to get that. And that's how we got our minerals. That's how we got all these minerals out of bones. We, we couldn't eat bones, but we would make bone broth so we could get the minerals out of the bone broth. Well, that's why we came out with the collagen peptides because people just are not going to go through the process and make the mess and everything that we used to make as for getting the bone broth. So we made a bone broth and we call it collagen peptides is a technical name for it. And uh, you'll be doing the same thing that grandma and grandpa used to do to get all those minerals into the family uh, the next day by, by simmering them on top of the wood stove uh, in a vinegar water mix. Okay, so I hope that helps you out. All right, I wanted to revisit the lady with itchy skin too. Uh, she said they've tried a lot of these different things. Uh, Another thing it could be if instead of mites, maybe it's not mites. I mean, 
it, it could be bed bugs or something like that and you're constantly getting rebit but uh, if you've already eliminated all those sources and and so forth then it could be early signs of psoriasis so mm -hmm. uh, yeah we want to make sure you're getting at least six of the omega-3s every day the prohoba omegas yeah and yeah and and, and don't forget the collagen peptides and msm right. mm -hmm. yep and stay off the gluten yep you know something that always worked when i was in pharmacy was was oatmeal baths is there any alternative to oatmeal baths now that we know more about gluten problems are you talking about sensitivity on the skin and that kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah, uh, soaking in oatmeal bath works, but uh, I worry, worry about that now with all the uh, gluten yeah, well, problems. Well, well, that was a short-term benefit, okay, right. because over the long term, you're going to have a problem. And so, again, um, it's one of those things where you want to do the skin thing, okay? A hair, skin, and nails. Hair, skin, and nails. Three of those twice a day per 100 pounds of body weight. Um, you can again. We have all these oils in the in the ancient legacy division. Uh, you can put the oils on, but uh, the ninety essential nutrients, including the collagen peptides and the MSM, um, vitamin D three. Those things, um, in addition to the ninety essential nutrients, Arthrodex for dogs and cats and stuff. Uh, everybody needs these minerals for skin health, tendon ligament health, artery health, vein health. And, um bones uh, when doctors say oh you have osteoporosis of your hip he should say you have osteoporosis in every bone in your body including your skull right but you've got it's worse in the hip because you go up and down stairs or you know whatever it is you're doing you put pressure in that one joint more than the others and that's why you're seeing it there but it's affecting your whole body not just one place and the um uh it's very very important to make sure you rebuild all the bones of your body mm -hmm. and people i was asking them, did you wear braces when you're a kid oh yeah my teeth were awful my teeth were i was only 18 years old my teeth are falling out and had receding gums <clears throat> that's because you had osteoporosis of the skull because your jawbone and your facial bones are part of your skull and so again i you know you want to get a hold of that book it's all in your head there's 25 different diseases you can get from osteoporosis of the skull and you can go to www.drjwallock.com, www.drjwallock.com and get that book. It'll freak you out. All the diseases the doctors say are due to your aging or they're genetic or they're autoimmune, your body's attacking itself, are really just all simple nutritional deficiency diseases and can be dealt with very quickly with proper supplementation and proper diet. Yeah, and this is something that, uh, that upsets me as a pharmacist. You know, when a patient has their first prescription, that's an educational moment. That's the time when we can tell them about Dr. Wallach's uh, information, uh, if the medical system would just do that. Because once they have that first prescription, you know, blood pressure medicine, okay, well, we, we know if you trace that back, it's not a deficiency of beta blockers or the blood pressure medicine of the day. It's not a deficiency of that. Something else is causing that high blood pressure, and all the doctor wants to do is cut that red warning light and give you a drug. If that doctor did a little bit of investigating and a little bit of educating and started getting people just on the freaking minerals, just a bottle of minerals every month, at that point, it can eliminate the possibility of someday being in a nursing home on 25 different medications. And, and that, that's why I got involved with Dr. Wallach, because I, I want to get that information out there. When people came to my pharmacies, you know, some people, they didn't care. You know, they got their drug. All they cared is the doctor said, do it. They're going to do it. And there's nothing I can do to change their mind. But I had some clients that would listen to me and I would get them on minerals. And they would, a lot of cases, reduce the need of even having to have that blood pressure medicine. And I didn't have all the tools in my quiver that I have now with longevity. So I just wanted to throw my two cents in there, Doc. Well, that's a very valuable two cents, <laughs> believe me. Well, um, you know, what is it? Uh, how many cents a day? It's $25 for a bottle. So well, any of your family members, if they're getting on their first prescription for some kind of medical condition, get them on those minerals if you can't get them to do anything else. All right, Valerie has a question. She has a client with a black spot in the center of their vision in both eyes 55 years of age 
285 pounds doesn't say how tall, but we know 285 pounds is going to be overweight unless they're a linebacker. <laughs> okay. 65 years of age. 55. Oh, 55. Okay. All right. And, and I get this one a lot, the black spots, you know, uh, my mother-in-law used to complain that she had ants crawling in her eyes is what she called it. So mm -hmm. I had those little moving black spots. Yeah. And so basically this is sort of the equivalent of um, um, dandruff and people's scalp because your lining of your eye sheds cells when it's not totally happy, I uh, get some inflammation and it could be osteoporosis is 55 years old. She could definitely have osteoporosis of the skull and the osteoporosis of the skull will make the skull squeeze the optic nerve, the optic artery and the optic vein. And so it could be low oxygen in the eye <clears throat> causing death of a lot of cells. Also, they get the, the pressure in the eye goes up. Um, the doctors want to do surgery and stick needles in your eye and all that kind of stuff. Um, when really, it's just a matter of getting rid of the osteoporosis of the skull. And so again, uh, I'd have them get, get her, uh, in addition to getting her on the 90 essential nutrients, getting her off all the bad foods, don't forget the vitamin D3, don't forget the MSM, don't forget the collagen peptides. And again, I would um, definitely uh, go for the supplement program. We do have Vision FX. Uh, you can take three of those twice a day. Um, in case there's pressure problems in the eyes, uh, get the ultimate uh, daily classic tablets, uh, three of those twice a day. There's two bottles a month. And it'll you know deal with blood pressure everywhere, including blood pressure in the eye. Um, and so um, these things can be dealt with nutritionally but you got to be proactive. And of course, the eye doctor is not going to do that. If you have your physician says, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to refer you to an eye doctor here and he'll help you with that. It's probably his bowling partner and his golf buddy. And so are his classmate. And so he's shipping you to them. So they get a little piece of the action. Uh, that's how, that's how all those referrals happen. Okay. And um, uh, most of these things are, you can stabilize them so they don't get any worse. Uh, and many of them, you can reverse them over a period of, I would say, give me 90 days for the change, proper change in diet, proper supplement program. Um, and uh, you're going to see some, some significant benefit within 90 days. Mm -hmm. And, you know, something else too, if this is something new that's just showing up, find out if she's taking zinc. Because again, zinc is causing eye problems because of the deficiency of selenium and copper that zinc is causing. And if she is taking zinc and has not been supplementing with the uh, extra selenium and copper, get her on that too. There you go. Because uh, I mean, like I'm saying, this extra zinc that people are taking during this pandemic has, I mean, that the optometrist and the ophthalmologist have seen a huge increase in cataract disease. All right, got one last question. ADHD, okay. uh, both in a child and the 30-year-old dad. I can't follow. 11-year-old boy and his 30-year-old dad. Okay, well, they both need 90 essential nutrients. Uh, the kid, if he's, you know, all there, he can uh, go at, at nine years old, you say? 11. 11, yeah. He could go with uh, the health brain and heart pack according to his body weight. If he's not a pill taker, he could take the kid's toddy and the EFAs and the cherry mints. Mm -hmm. The dad needs uh, two healthy brain and heart packs per month. And again, if some of those pieces are back ordered, you need to just make you know, get the healthy start pack, throw in the extra selenium and uh, throw in the, the de-stress capsules, the ultimate daily classic tablets, get the blood flowing into the brain. And don't forget the oxybody. Oxybody mm -hmm. always helps. Uh, oxygen makes the brain work better. So let's start there. All right, she needs, uh, both of them need to stay away from high fructose corn syrup and, you know, cut back to sugar. Mm -hmm. And I would take, I would go over to my website, askpharmacistkeith.com and search for MSG or toxins, uh, excitotoxins that are in the diet can also cause the ADHD to go haywire. And uh, you will be surprised at the uh, amount of excitotoxins that are in our diet. Soy-based foods. A lot of people are using soy-based foods now. Soy is an excitotoxin. Cause the brain to, um, you know, speed up like they do in ADHD, where they just can't concentrate on one thing. 
Uh, so soy is a is a, an excitotoxin that people don't realize. And we have all these people now that are switching to soy milks. And uh, if you read, Big mistake. Bit, yeah. And if you look at the processed foods in the grocery store, you'll be surprised how many processed foods have put soy in them as a protein booster. Now, I have to ask you a question. Um, let's see here. When babies are born to whales and uh, elephants and giraffe and human beings and lions and tigers and bears uh, oh and my. buffalo, oh my, um, do they, uh, does the mother give them soy milk through their breasts or do they give them mammal milk? Yeah, that's mammalian milk and that's the way God designed it. Well, there you go. And so all these people who started this thing about milk is bad for you, um, somebody needs to go to jail. Yeah, I think they were concerned about all the stuff that's given to the cows now. I think that's where it started. Uh, all the mm -hmm. all the antibiotics and that type of thing. So, you know, I understand where it started, but it's, it's just gone. The I, I think it's thing so I think far. It's, I think it started with the fat. And they thought there was cholesterol in there and all that kind of stuff. I think that it was the fat that was getting everybody. All right. Looks like it is about time for you to do your thing. All right, Dr. Wallach, you're on the radio twice a day. Uh, yep. Can you tell folks how to get hold of you there? Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. From noon to one Pacific time. I'm on Dead Doctors Don't Lie, one triple eight. That's eight 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 three seven nine two five five two. Again, that's Dead Doctors Don't Lie from noon to one Pacific time, Monday through Friday, triple eight 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 three seven nine two five five two. And then from one to two Pacific time, Monday through Friday, is Let's Play Doctor. The toll free number is one eight seven seven nine one two play. Toll free is one eight seven seven nine one two seven five two nine. Again, that's Let's Play Doctor. It's uh, uh, one to two Pacific time. Those shows are one right after the other. And I've been on them for over 30 years. And so we have a huge following, but they're toll free. And if you, you do have to call a little bit early, so there's toll free. You don't have to sit there and you're, you're, you know, you see the meter running because I'm paying the bill. And so it's one of those things you want to call about 10, 15 minutes early and then do other things while you have your headset on or something, because if you try calling 15, 20 minutes into it, they're already stacked up. Yeah, that's Dead Doctors Don't Lie Radio, weekdays, 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 888-379-2552, 888-379-2552. The slide is on your screen right now. Uh, you can listen to the archives of that show at radio dot give doc 90 days.com and a let's play doctor is on uh weekdays 4 to 5 p.m eastern time 877-912-7529 877-912-7529 and also dr wallach uh, all your books and cds uh you can get all the books and cds by going over to drj wallach dot com drjwallach.com that slide's also on the screen uh be sure while you're there to get the red warning light cd that's an excellent tool to be able to hand out to folks uh, yep and uh, yeah the information can add 25 to 50 years to your life yeah it's you know more more uh straight to the point than uh uh going through the dead doctors don't lie lecture uh so and uh I encourage you to get that Sorry, my voice is trying to go in and out on me. <laughs> okay, Dr. Wallach, I appreciate it again for you joining well, us. Well, well, appreciate all you do, Pharmacist Keith. God bless you, sir. <laughs> God bless you, too. Thank and, you. Thank you. And folks, be sure to get your free... Uh, I'm going to put it up here on the screen. Your free gifts for joining us. We do this every week. Uh, at the same time, 11 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, the free gifts are can be found at dddlvideo.com. dddlvideo.com. It stands for dead, dead Doctors Don't Lie. So dddlvideo.com. Someone asked the question today about uh, athletes, young athletes. There is a free report there from Dr. Wallach that you can save to your computer, uh, add your contact information on that, and then print it out and share. Uh, 
and there's also the video in the Dead Doctors Don't Lie series called Someone Should Go to Jail, Health, Lies, and Medicine. Uh, you can watch that video there for free. Uh, folks, when they go visit this website, they don't have to put any information in. They don't have to put their email address or phone number or anything else in there. The information is there for everybody for free. Okay, so uh, get the information there, dtdlvideo.com. And I encourage you to, um, if you're on Facebook, please go to the, to the Give Doc 90 Days page. That's facebook.com slash give doc 90 days and the 90 is spelled out and uh subscribe to that page join that page like that page there's a section on there where you can make comments about what you think of the page this helps it get out to more people helps this information to get out there more and i, I encourage you to do that i ask you to do that and also earlier we talked about the give uh, the uh, good food bad food video uh that again can be found at video let's see foodvideo.campaignfornutrition.com foodvideo.campaignfornutrition.com and Dr. Wallach makes all of his money on all the CDs and DVDs and books that we put out there so I encourage you to go buy the books from Dr. Wallach instead of instead of buying them from Amazon um, you know you're, you're buying it directly from him he does not make money off the sale of longevity products his money is all made on that and also I encourage you to go visit our swag shop I've added a new tote bag on there for folks that are uh, certified health coaches. Uh, hang on, let me share that screen with you. The website is called swag.campaignfornutrition.com. Swag.campaignfornutrition.com. And there we go. Uh, you can see right there, that's the new uh, tote bag that we have available, three different colors. There's also... I am We the People shirts and sweatshirts available. And the original, the greatest medicine is to teach people how not to need it. That's also available in sweatshirts, t-shirts, so forth. So I encourage you to go over there and get your swag. Uh, that tote bag is specially designed for the certified holistic health coaches. As you can see, it's got Dr. Wallach's message on there. And at the bottom, is a certified holistic health coach. So that's something you can carry around with your sampling program. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, have that little message on there and help it have it help create some conversation for you because folks this business is all about conversation we want to get this message out there to as many people as we possibly can and it can't ha happen unless we start conversations with people uh, Tom Chenault is always saying you know to uh, to learn everything you can about the other person make it all about them not about you and I've found that by doing that, I've enrolled more people lately, um, you know, just by having a simple conversation, finding out everything you can about the people, you know, just ask them, tell me about you. You know, they say, what do you mean? Tell me about you. Well, where were you born? And get the ball rolling there. It's amazing the things that will come up in a conversation. I was having a conversation with a lady the other day that, uh, 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 she's a, a pharmacist. She's in another network marketing company. She's not a candidate to become a longevity representative, but you know, we had this nice long conversation and in that conversation, she mentioned that her dog is having joint problems. So that's a perfect opportunity, not right then, because right then during that conversation, I'm making it all about her, but it's a perfect opportunity to call her back now and say, you know, I was thinking about your poor little dog. I've got a friend that's a veterinarian that specializes in bone and joint issues for dogs. I'd love to, to uh, get some information over there to you and send her some information on the, ar the arthrodex. Send her some information on the, uh, uh, the uh, you know, other supplements that Dr. White recommends. Uh, you know, find one of these videos and send her the, the video and tell her to start watching it at the point where we talk about it. I mean, today we talked about the very topic. So find out where that is during this video, send a link to this uh, program to them and tell them to go to that spot on the video and listen to what the doc has to say about a dog with joint problems. So that, that, that's all there is to it. This is a simple business. People make it difficult. It's all about people. It's all about uh, 
you know, talking with people and getting conversations going. And, and that, that's what we do. That's what Dr. White's been doing for decades now. Just talking to people, finding out where they're at, and then sell them on what they want, not what you want to sell them. So if, they're, if they're, their problem is financial and all you're talking to them about is the 90 for life, you're missing the point. They don't care about the health at that point. Right now, what's keeping them awake at night is the financial side of things. So that's the opportunity to learn a little bit more about them and find out that maybe they will be a candidate for David Allen Capital to create some extra income there. Or maybe they will be a candidate for mineral makeup or some other product within Longevity, something else they're passionate about to create some extra income. So you got to pay attention to what the people are talking about. And the only way you can do that is shut up. Ask the question, tell me about yourself and then shut up and listen and get the contact mapping app so you can put in the notes everything that you learned about that person. As soon as I hang up the call, I turn on my contact mapping app and I can dictate the notes. I don't have to write it all out or type it all out. I can dictate it. It puts it right into the app. So when I follow up, I know what I talked to them about last time. Like that lady I'm going to be calling today. I know that I need to follow up with her about the dog. And that's in my contact mapping app. So that reminds me that, hey, you got to call this person on this day. And I can see in my notes everything I know about her. So this, this is a, a business about getting to know people and finding out where they're at, not where you want them to be. Like, like Tom always says, your, your goal is to find 100 people. Find 100 people. Out of that 100 people, you're going to have 80 of them that just want to buy products. That's all they're interested in. They want to buy products, whether it's a mineral makeup or spa products or the a new line that we've got for the, um, you know, clean cleaning products, chemical free cleaning products, uh, you know, whatever it is, coffee, let them become a customer. Don't push them to become a distributor. The idea is to get them a customer. That's, that's 80 out of 100. Then maybe 15 out of 100 will want to do something a little bit more. They'll want to earn a thank you check. And that's fine. And that's what we help them do. Help them. Teach them how to make referrals so they can get that thank you check. And maybe four out of five out of that 100 will actually want to become an influencer. And that's great. And you help them and becoming an influencer in longevity, help them to uh, be all they can be as the Navy, as the military says, be all you can be. So anyhow, I didn't want to uh, uh, keep you any longer. Uh, Valerie, your questions were answered. So if you go back, this, this will be uh, on the Give Doc 90 Days page when, you're, when it's done. And after I have a chance to edit it, it will go up on YouTube as well as uh, the askpharmacistkeith.com page. I'm a little bit behind on that because of being sick, but uh, I will get back to getting these things edited and put up as fast as I can. So I thank you folks again. If you want to reach me, 502-212-2929. That's, <clears throat> That's 502-212-2929. Uh, send me a text message and I will get back with you. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to say. I'm starting to lose my voice again. So I will see you guys again next week. Thanks for tuning in to the Health and Wellness Hour with Dr. Joel Wallach and pharmacist Keith Abel. If you found value in this episode, be sure to like and share. Also, to be notified when the next episode is posted, click on the subscribe button, then hit that little bell symbol. If you have any questions or comments for Pharmacist Keith or Dr. Wallach, you may send a private email to askpharmacistkeith at live.com or by visiting the Facebook page, Give Doc 90 Days to Better Health, Wellness, and Longevity. To hear more from Dr. Wallach, he has two nationally syndicated radio programs daily, Dead Doctors Don't Lie and Let's Play Doctor. Check your local radio listings for details. Also, check out the archives of his past shows at radio.givedoc90days.com. One last thing, if you'd like to join Dr. Wallach's crusade to share his message with others, contact Pharmacist Keith, and he'll teach you how to share the message and create some extra income at the same time. Contact Pharmacist Keith through his email address, 
Keith at ProsperityRx.com or call or text at 502-212-2929. Remember, Keith is still a practicing pharmacist and can't always pick up the phone right away. So leave your name, number, and best time to call, and he'll return your call as soon as possible. Thanks again for tuning in.